Hey guys, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you a couple drawing pages, a couple pages I did for an art exhibition. I mounted them together and displayed them, uh, but they were just kind of for fun. It was an experiment to see something new, something kind of trendy that I've never done before. But for this video, I'm going to answer some questions that are from Vlog Tax list of questions. And I'm just going to go through them quickly. I may come back to some of them and talk about them deeper. You guys can ask questions in the bottom. But I'm going to see how many I can get through, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, one, weird thing that you do when you are alone. I I love to listen to debates, and so I will just sit there and listen to debates and that type of thing all day long if I have the chance while I'm painting. Uh, two, have you changed in the past two years? Oh man, changed so much. Uh, what is attributed to that change? I think one of the biggest things is that we moved, and just being around new people and in a new place, uh, you always are changing. And I think uh, the attitude of growing and changing in a new culture and moving in the United States and treating that as like travel and new things. Um, I'll go deeper into that in a second video though. Three, what kind of person attracts you in a non-sexual fashion? I think just positive uh, people like the uh, fruits of the spirit, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control, like all those different things are just people that are uh, wonderful to be around. Number four, name someone that fascinates you and why. I do not know right now. I think uh, artists that Artists, creative people that are writers and musicians and artists and can do all sorts of different arts, I think is, is one of my answer for now. And instrument that you play or want to learn to play, I would love to play the drums and guitar. Number six, something that you are currently worrying about. I think uh, summer scheduling, what's going to happen when, because I don't know. Number seven, your views on addictions. I think that uh, it's sad when you get to a point where you need something to function that is not a part of uh, outside of food and water. It's kind of a sad thing. Uh, that I feel like I can't answer in a short time though. A date that you would take your significant other on, money is no issue. If money is no issue, definitely traveling in something somewhere else that would just be exciting and fun. But uh, there's tons of dates that would be fun. Number nine, something that disgusting that you do. I think I, I bite my nails and I don't intend to stop. Number 10, the best thing to happen to you. I think uh, travel, meeting my husband, um, so many different things. There's so, oh man, that's too many to name. Number 11, something that you can't seem to get over. I don't quite know what that question is. And three, three things that you, that about you that people can't seem to get over. I still don't quite understand where that's going, what type that means. So I'm not going to think about it too much because I'm trying to get through these. Number 13, something that you always think what if about. Oh man, I do that so much. Like any topic can be that. Your religious, religious beliefs, I'm a Christian and I'm probably more conservative than most people expect. Uh, but I also believe in like love and putting people first and so many different things that go along with being a Christian that also people don't always expect either. Um, number 15, how do you picture yourself? I will do a self-portrait drawing of myself sometime. If you want it, let me know in the comments. Number 16, what are your three biggest pet peeves? I don't like certain sounds and I could just do sounds for all three of those. I'm going to say sounds and just three different sounds. Number 17, what is your morning routine? On a good day, I wake up, listen to a couple chapters of the Bible, read, stretch, uh, pray, journal, all of those good things. On a bad day, I wake up and brush my teeth and put on deodorant and possibly do my hair and then I'm out the door. A uh, family member that you dislike or have intense respect for? I have respect for so many of my family members. Um, my parents, my grandmother, my husband, uh, my husband's parents. Um, there's there's so many. It'd be hard to name them all. Number 19, your favorite meal, favorite dessert, favorite snake, favorite drink. I think that's a typo. I think it's supposed to be shake. I don't know. I love homemade chili. Uh, and I make it with like a twist of Indian style, but like American Indian mix. Uh, number 19, four physical traits that you like about the opposite sex. I'm going to go with calves and thighs and butt and face. I should have just gone with face because I think eyes and smile too, but I did the other. I don't know. Number 21, what is your good luck charm or charms? I don't really think I have one. I'm not much of a superstitious person, but there's like little quirky things that I'm sure I do that I feel, oh, I always eat even numbers of things. We'll say I eat even numbers of things, and if I don't, I like freak out. Uh, number 22, name an injury or disability that you have. That stupid little exclamation point on my finger is from reaching into my chest of drawers and scraping it. I think it'd be absolutely hilarious if it was one finger over. If you have seen it in this video, if you haven't seen it, check it out now. You can see it. Right, there you go. There you go. Um, yeah, I could answer lots of other things, but I'm not going to. Number 23, name your favorite sit-in restaurant and why. 
Oh, man. I just like food. Uh, Cheese Louise. I'm going to say Cheese Louise right now because they, last time we went there, it was just really nice, really pleasant. They had some jazz music playing, live jazz music. Uh, it has just the right, like, atmosphere. I think it was absolutely lovely. What is your favorite quote? I will have to think about that later. Uh, maybe I'll do a quote video sometime. I, I would like to do that anyways with my Reckless Journal videos. What is your favorite form of social media? I really like Instagram and YouTube. I'll put those links below um, and in the video. What kind of person inspires you too? I think that there's a typo there. Non-religious, non-YouTube, and non-relative. I guess kind of what I said earlier, like patients, patient people, kind people, um, just good people in general. Number 27, what is your dream job? I have my dream job. Um, I volunteer, I work with art, I teach, and I may be doing those things in another country would be my dream um, if I had to not pick what I'm doing now. Number 28, name a strange nervous tick that you have. Uh, eating even numbers of things, I already said that. What time period would you want to live in if you could time travel? I have no idea. I'll think about it later. Number 30, this is the last one. What have you learned about yourself during this challenge that I cannot do this challenge in under five minutes without planning? That's what I've learned. Thanks, guys.